Hi guys, it's Tisha in Japan here, and I've got some cards, some finished cards that I want to share with you. Um, you get a little bit of view of my background here, you guys can probably see. But um, I put my inks, I changed them around, and I've got my Stampin' Up! back there. And that's what it is. I haven't really done anything else. I It's hard to see. It looks pretty messy, but I kind of reorganized and everything. Alright, so let's get started. I'm, I'm going to show you, I think I have like eight cards at least to show you, so I hope you enjoy it. I'm not going to share the Copic markers that I used. I'll put it, I'll try to put it in the down bar below, but um, I'll share, first I'll share the stamp that I used for the card, if I have that out, and then I'll share the card with you. And if you have any questions, just let me know. So the first card that I did um, with, with the Anya list, looks like that, and as you can see, I stamped um, the balloons, and I just... I did two of each, and then I put the extra in there, so. Then I used the My Favorite Things um, sediment stamp. Looks like this. And I used the You Inspire Me here. I also used the Polka Dot Greening Sky, and I think I used um, this one here. This outside one. Okay, so it looks like this. Ta-da! Isn't she super, super cute? Let me give you a close-up. Woo! Sorry, guys. There she is. She's super sweet. I've got um, stickles on her boots. And, of course, I love purple. And I'm really into turquoise. So I also put some stickles on her heart up there. And then I love this color of her top. It kind of looks like chiffon, don't you think? And then I just used... Um, I can't get this direction out. <laughs> I used the glitter paper and for the balloons and really cute and yeah i just got some purple this is a very faint purple ink for the background on this and then these are my mind's eye enamel dots from the oxford collection which is a new one out and then i got this awesome trim i don't know if you can see it it's very iridescent i think you got a little bit of shine from that and then all of my papers except for the glitter plate well the glitter paper was um this turquoise was in the scraps, but all the paper is pretty much scraps. I didn't want to um, cut anything else. I have so much scraps, and I kind of organize them, and it's really easy for me to do that. And I use this um, EK, EK Success um, scallop dotted, dotted scallop border punch that um, Be a Crafty Girl sent me, so thank you so much. And I don't think I've yeah, I left the inside blank because um, I wanted to wait until the time when I knew I was going to send it and so I could make it a little bit more personal. And then I have one of this envelope that um, somebody sent me and they um, die cut it with a Big Shot Pro, I guess. And then I thought it would match perfectly because she's a little bit bigger than a regular envelope. As you can see, she's very tall and because I did it sideways. But I had to do it sideways if I wanted to get the um, sediment in there. The next one is with the Lawn Fawn Winter Owl stamp set. He's super cute. And when I saw this, um, I wanted to do it, of course, at winter. But it's spring. And what I did is I just took this and I turned the um, ends of the scarf sideways. So they're coming down and it's a spring owl. I also used um, my PTI Trendy Treetops and Treetop dies. I don't know if you can get a look. There's the trendy treetops and then the treetops. So basically, um, I have the dies for both of these two. I just didn't use them. This is the um, trendy treetops and then this is the treetops one. I used the branch and I used the one with the like kind of star flowers on there. And then I used the sentiment over here, sorry, the hello you and then love you forever. So that is a super sweet one. And um, it's really fun. I love the writing on that so much. And here it is. It looks like this. Ta-da! He's super cute. Okay, so he's got his little spring scarf over here. <laughs> and um, this was scrap paper that was in my scraps, of course. And I just used my labels eight and cut that out. And um, what actually was, um, I think when I, um, folded this card, it left a mark on, cause you know, when, you know, when you try to like score it and it jumps out of the thing. So I just covered it up with that rectangle. 
and I've used the MFT layered heart die and this is a smaller one and then I've threaded um, with baker's twine around the side and a good tip for using the baker's twine when you tie it is just to put a little bit of glossy accents behind and that way your bows will stay secure and won't come un undone especially when you're cutting it so short it's really irritating you know when you did a nice job and it comes in and you cut it short and then you can't retie it and then um, this is the you move me die from MFT and it, I'll show you the stamp set afterwards um, on another card but I really like the shape of this and I like how square it is and the owl is a good size he can fit perfectly on there and I'll give you a close-up of them right like that and so um, I, I actually all of the owl is no no okay so I colored the owl myself with Copic and I add stickles to his belly and then this is scrap paper which is the same as this sheet here and then the hell you is from the PTI treetops or trendy to treetops and then I use the hearts from the set as well and then on the back is my um, stamp and inside it looks like that and I just used um, that tree and then also I forgot to mention there was a heart and I just stamped the hearts around randomly so it looked really really cute and then I'm going to put that with um, this polka dot vellum envelope that came from Daiso. And Mariko sent me um, one in, in my, my recent package with a card that she made me. And it was funny. I was like, I really like those. And then I, I, I like, had seen them at Daiso. And then I went in my envelope collection, and I saw that I had already bought them, too. So we had the same taste. And plus, it's Daiso. Daiso rocks. <laughs> okay, the next one is... I'm going to use this die, is the Western Sediments, I think it's, let's see, yeah, Western Sediments, and I use the one, this one, when you come to the end of your rope, tie knot and hold on, and I thought that would be a really nice one, and I'm really like, I really into like cowboys and cowgirls, it's really fun to like make stuff like that, so, and I use the MFT Cowgirl at Heart, and here it is. And she's super cute. Let her. Let me show you, you her. And look at those long slender legs too. I know. Okay, so um, also this banner is the um, MFT. What's it called? Western Star Border Duo, and it comes with two, so you can layer it. So what I did is I cut out cork and I layered on a brown piece, and I had to cut two pieces, so I used that on another card, and then I put um, the negative stars up here. And I just tied on some rustic twine that I had up there. And uh, this is um, just a really textured piece of paper that I got from a stationery store. And I thought that gave it a very, you know, rustic look. And then I stamped as well on this um, same paper. And I poked holes on each side. And then I, I tied this um, baker's twine on there. It's really like real twine. And this red and white check paper was actually from the Webster's Pages um, like spine you know when you have a collection kit and then the spine and if you turn that over like the outside says like the collection name and what the, what's inside and if you turn it over that was on the inside of it and I think it's from the Yacht Club but I could be mistaken but I really like that and oh and then this is that PAL glitter paper that um, came with the Studio Calico scrapbooking kit that we had a while back and all the cards that have my um, names, my name stamp on the back too. And yeah, that one's just gonna go with a white envelope. I'm just I'm trying to keep the envelopes with the cards because it's such a pain in the butt to go and look for envelopes when you want to like rush and send something, or you want it you're running out of the door and you want to grab a card with you, but you don't have an envelope. So I'm gonna try and keep the envelopes right with the cards just to make it easier. The second one, um, I reorganized my images that I had, and I found some colored ones, and so there's my cowboy Ian. And you might not think that this coloring is very good, but I did color this a long time ago, so I don't care. I'm just going to leave it. It doesn't matter. Um, there he is like this, and I've added just um, some whoop, stickles on his belt buckle, and then I put gloss accents on his star, I think he but you can't see it's so tiny. Anyways, this was 
the negative from the Westminster Borough when I did it, and I kept that piece because I thought it would look really cool with a little bit of pop color underneath, and then that's why I did. I used the same paper, and I just layered it, and and then I did um, that one. You can see it's kind of like popped up there, and then I have this um, thing. This used to be um, Stampin' Up! Rustic Twine. I'm not sure. I went to check um, on the website, and I don't think that they have it in stock anymore if you're if you're a Stampin' Up! demonstrator maybe you can tell me but um like a long time ago like I went to a Stampin' Up! party and only one time and then I ordered that including with um along with a few other things and then I just put um a couple of these cork stars in the corner ta-da yeah and then of course that's just the white envelope over there so the next card is super cute, guys. Back to Grading Farm Stamp. I used the Miss Anya Love, and I do love this card. So, ready? It looks like this. ta -da. Is that not cute or what? Oh, my gosh. So I've got I've got some nest abilities um, going on here. I've got the, the Lacy Oval die on nest abilities, and I have an oval, just a plain oval over here. Then I've got Miss Anya Love, and she was colored a while ago. I just really liked it. I found it hard because, um, at first, because I colored it with a really bright pink. Like, for some reason, the only coats that I don't want to have a good selection of are pink, and I find it really hard to choose my pink. So, anyways, it was very bright, and it was hard to match, but I just decided to go with it and do something different, and um, that's what I came up with, and I'm really happy with it. So um, instead of, you know, just coloring the flowers, I decided to put those flowers on there. And I learned that from Scrapshus a long time ago. I loved how she made those. And she actually sent me one of the cards like that. So she's my inspiration. I used LSD um, Starburst Spray in the Hottie Patati Hot Pink. And so cute. I don't know if you can see the shimmer on camera, but they're really shimmery. And a really bright, shocking pink, obviously. And then I actually just put some glossy accents on her heart bow, so she's really cute. Um, these flowers, which are hard to see because they're black, they're from the MFT um, website, and they are called the Flower and Leaf Trio because they have three of each. I did not use the, the leaves, but I just um, did the flowers. And this is the Leafy Flourish. And I find it very hard to, from MFT, I find it very hard to remember the names of their flourishes because I went and checked today just to make sure. They have Fancy Flourish, Leafy Flourish, Leafy Fancy Flourish, I don't know, like it was really tr tricky for me to remember. So um, if you might have a problem trying to remember those, but that is the Leafy Flourish, I think. So I hope not. I hope um, you, you can find it. And then um, I actually, it's, this is looking kind of white, but this is a really shocking pink. You can see there, it's a shocking pink, but I like that color. And I brought that color in using these rhinestones over here, too. So, really cool. And then the back, um, I tried to stamp on the back, but um, it wasn't showing up. So, I stamped it on that shocking pink, which looks very white on camera for some reason. And then I actually did um, one of those scallop circles from my spellbinders nest abilities there just to um do some layering and and it actually looks really nice like that and these are an, these are five and a quarter by five and a quarter ac cardstock cards and these are the five and a half by five and a half envelopes i think my mom sent them to me but i could have gotten them from ali paper or um what's her name paper craft doll that's right so either those two people sent me the next one um, is my inspiration comes from the Paper Crafts magazine. All these cards are my only inspiration, you know, except for um, this one, which I want to share with you. I just kind of, sometimes I like to get ideas. Um, Christina Betts is very big fan of Paper Crafts. I think a lot of people are too, but shout, shout out if you're a Paper Crafts girl. So it comes from this sketch here. This is um, a lawn fun sketch. And I really like this because I like this rectangular um, right here. And I liked how it had the strip of paper with the sediment. And I love the baking twine. And I liked how it was kind of monotone. So that was my inspiration. I 
the only thing that I changed was that this is a vertical card and I went I went with um, one on the side instead open sideways and I kept this and I also rounded the corners but because it opened on the side I rounded the top part and this part instead and I left the other one straight and because it was opening sideways I put my twine going up and down this way so it was a little bit different but I think that I pulled it off but if you look closely at first I thought they were they were the same like sometimes it's hard for me to like match the patterns you know I'm not sure what goes or I overthink it so you really don't have to worry about it but it does have um this one and then this one is actually a different pattern paper than the back which was like kind of cool because I was going to keep the same and I like the fact that you can you could do it differently you can do anything you want but that was what um I went with so um, I used my Flirty Anya from the Greeting Farm, this one, and I used my MST All Smiles stamp set, looks like this, and I really like this. I used the, this one, it says, You Bring Out the Happy in Me, and then on the inside, I put something else. I'll show you in a minute. <laughs> Alright, so it looks like this. Here it goes. And that is super, super sweet. I went with some turquoise on her. I love her turquoise dress. Um, what I do when I color images too sometimes is like I'll paint, I'll just do the faces and then I'll leave them until like I know what color I want to do. Or, you know, I see what paper I have and then I do it. But I rarely do it that way. I usually just go with what color I like because that's how I like to color. So usually it's like turquoise or purple, you know, pink, sometimes like that. But um, I love how it turned out. And instead of putting, or I made sure I put a flower in her hair just because it looks really cute. And I tried to create a ruffle effect from her dress. So I hopefully I achieved that. Um, and then on the side here, as you can see, instead of like having it go this way across the card, I actually just kept it this way and tied bows going up. And I also put the gloss accents underneath to secure the bows. And super cute. I'm really excited. I think this is um some, what's that, pink paisley junk something. You know that one? That collection. I love that paper. And then this is probably some My Mind's Eye paper. And then, oh, this one is a new sheet. Actually, this one is a new sheet because I knew I wouldn't have the paper to go with it. That's from the Doodlebug collection, which, um... I can share with you because it's super cute and I'm not shared with you. It's this one here. It's a 6x6 six six paper pad. Um, Rena, uh, when she sent me the gift certificate from for two peas, I ordered a couple sheets from this and then I was so in love with it and I, I decided to get the um, paper pack. So It's so cute. I'm going to be using this a lot. There's like the birds. There's bluebirds. And then look at all the patterns. It's like um, dots and flowers and stripes and jelly beans and there's some solids and polka dots and then this is really cute with the trees I'm probably going to use that with my treetop tree sky too and this one's cute it's got like rabbits and carrots and houses and stuff and this one's like all carrots and look at the rabbits aren't they cute and then I love this paper it's like rainbow and that one's nice dotted and then there's the chickadees and some pink flowers and then these ones are birdies there and then that's the one the lined rainbow one which I was so in love with so I'm happy I got that and then the butterflies over there so that is a really fun spring one and if you want to get that go ahead pick it up and then okay so I was going to show you sorry back to the cards and when you open it up it says no matter how I feel it's always true the one thing that makes me smile is you and that's super cute. Okay, and I have um, two more cards to share. The next one I used um, the You Move Me um, stamp set, which is super big. Um, I used this one thinking of you from miles away because I love that one. I really do like that set. And it's really cute. Like, it has, um, it has this one's like, I'm over the moon for you. Love you to the moon and back. And then I like this one, and then it, you can use, like, all the cards. Or if you have, like, other stamps, you can use them, like, for the scooters and stuff. 
So that one. Oh, I also used the Pure Innocence um, Picture Perfect stamp from MFT. She's super sweet with that frame. And here it is. Ta-da! Yeah, I'm really big fan of this. Okay, so um, I kind of mixed. This is like something I don't usually do. A couple of the cards are like something I don't usually do. I rarely use flowers on my cards just because I have a hard time like grouping them. I know like the group of three is good, but sometimes it just doesn't come together. I had a really good, I've got really good mojo lately, so it worked. Okay, but that's usually why, because I just have a problem like putting them together. It just looks out of place or something. But, so I've got the flowers on here, and then I added um, some glitter on her things. I use stickers, which um, I don't usually do, but that's something I don't usually do, but I like how it turned out. And then I actually added sequins, which is something I never do, but I love how it just goes, like the black and the white. And then this is actually like a gray, so kind of like brings, tones down the white and black com contrast there. And then again, I have that um, leafy flourish, which I super love. And so I, I just um, paper pieced her frame and her dress, and then I colored everything else and add some glossy, glossy accents to her thing there. And I've left, oh no, I didn't, oh sorry, so this is high. And those are the cinnamon stickers. And on the inside, this thing came to you from miles away. So, um, and I think I'm going to put some pictures in here and send them to a family member because they've been wanting to have some pictures. So I thought that'd be really cute. So the very last card um, is just something really fun. And I think it would be nice and cheerful to send it out. So it looks like this. Ta-da! And these are the Recollections die cut cupcakes which come in a pack of like 50 or something. My mom sent me those and I'm so happy. They were really, really fun to make with. And it was her idea to just like paper piece them. So I cut them apart. I cut the purple one and like just cut it straight across. And then I ran through my crimper, which you can see the crimping effect there. It looks really, really cool, like the liner. And then I just hand cut the wavy cupcake top. And then this is the... um iridescent stickles which is actually like I use this one the most and it's getting low and then I use these which um, somebody sent me in a rack a way long time ago these are Joann's craft essentials fairy dust glitter and it's super sparkly and it has um, pink glitter as well as these these long type things and I don't think you're getting all the sparkle but it looks really cool and then this is um, MFT's Cupcake Flopsy, and it's super cute. And I did like um, a light purple liner with pink top, and then some stickles on top. And then he's actually kind of a cream yellow bunny, but it goes. And then I went with some turquoise um, lullaby stickers that Sherry sent me, and I wrote the word enjoy. So I didn't. I was gonna. I was thinking like happy birthday, but I try not to write happy birthday cards just because. It limits yourself like it's nice to have happy birthday cards just to send out but I tend not to make them and then this way you know you can just put this with a package so like enjoy or you know anything or it could be like with a present and then that you know it could be for a birthday or just because which is nice because cupcakes go anytime and then they just stamp the back like that yay oh I meant to say oh this one because I noticed the paper this is, um, sorry, this paper is 5 by 7 I think. Yeah, 5 by 7 um, cards, AC cards back here. And it was a little bit thin, like, I don't know if you can see, but I thought it was pretty thin when I stamped this. You can see it through, through the light here, I mean, through the back. So I decided I was going to stamp my name on some white cardstock, and then I just used some of my Stampin' Up 2 and 2 and 3 quarter or something. Um, scallop punch there and it went really nice so I like that okay so those are all my cards and I think I did a lot I have um, a printer's tray which I completed I just have to well it's almost complete okay I gotta glue down some 
pieces just um you know some of those sprays and then i'll be finished it i just have to get my glue gun out that's why it's not finished always a pain to do that but um so very quickly we'll go over them there's the onion lips you inspire me and the next one is the winter owl which is my spring owl so there is no spring owl that's just me changing it a little bit <laughs> there's the pure the aloe mode, sorry, the aloe mode cowboy at heart, cowgirl at heart, I should say. The aloe mode cowgirl at heart by MFT. There's the cowboy Ian. And there's the Miss Anya Love. Love, love. I love all of these, actually. Fan, um, fancy Anya? Or she's flirty on it. I think she's flirty on you. And then um, I have the Pure Innocence, what's that, Picture Perfect. And then the last one is the Cupcake Flopsy there. Yay, so those are all my cards. And I'll be talking to you again. Bye. Happy Scrapbooking, happy National Scrapbooking Day. <laughs> Bye.